Hello everyone and welcome back to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda, your virtual piano teacher. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of this channel. I'm leaving the link in the description of this video, where you will find also the link for my artistic channel Gianluca Fronda, pianist and composer, if you're interested in original music and covers. Talking about this channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know about yourself uh, by commenting, tell me when uh, you have started, if you are finding my channel interesting and you are improving your skills also thanks to my videos. And don't forget also to share with your friends if there is anybody interesting in piano music, any that, anybody that you know. So now time to go to our lesson. It's now time to play the swing, the B2 piece on page 6 of the grade 1 piano exam pieces ABRSM from the syllabus 2021 and 22. It's very nice this piece. Um, leaves pretty much uh, freedom uh, indeed, the, the the expression, let's say, usually here we have the tempo. Uh, the composer wrote, Soaring as high as your imagination takes you. And uh, there is also a big range of uh, speed, uh, so the crotchet can move from 108 and 132. I will play uh, close to 132 and then at the end uh, I will apply the ritardando that obviously will take, will uh, slow down pretty much, will stretch out pretty much the the tempo. Uh, as usual uh, I will play first, I will talk about a few things and then I will play a slower. Let's go, uh, let me hear the, the speed just as an indication. Yeah? Let obviously the title guide you, the swing. You will feel this swinging of uh, the melody. Now, let's uh, talk about a few things. The le First of all, there is no pedal at all, and the pedal is mentioned only at the end. So, obviously, I suppose that uh, is uh, appreciated, uh, not only by the composer, but also by uh, ABRSM, that we play without any pedal. Um, and it, it definitely makes sense and helps creating this swinging effect. Um, how to uh, respect these uh, rest of crotchet is quite simple. Simply, if you count in your mind when you study one, two, and three, and you have to simply release the G and the D on three. Then, how to interpret properly this uh, um, tie? Uh, obviously, you have to tie simply the bottom note, and then the top one will be played. So you you start playing the G, and you simply add the D. Two D, two. Again, two dim, one, two, and three, and one, and 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 two, and three, and and the whole piece is made in this way on the left. Um, respect to the phrasing, yeah, will definitely help you um, playing very well the melody. Uh, you start from a mezzo forte with a bit of uh, it. This kind of uh, short crescendo uh, is not an accent. It's a simple an opening, simply an opening of the sound. Um, diminuendo, then you lower the sound one step down from mezzo forte to mezzo piano. But anyways, you reach it with this diminuendo. Uh, as you can notice, the left hand is always kept 
um, let's say two dynamical levels down from mezzo forte piano from mezzo piano pianissimo really really soft you can help yourself with a, a left pedal the una corda pedal that helps you even more uh, having a very soft uh, sound very quiet sound um, then uh, here start the ritardando and you have to uh, cross the right hand so the right hand is over how do we uh, play this passage let's observe one second so we are coming from uh, the fourth bar where we have the left hand on E and B and the right hand on G so you cross over you go to the B you see that there is a change of clef you raise the sound as well and you start planning the ritardando obviously keeping always the left hand at a lower sound and now from the second bar of the last line you uh, push down the, um, the damper pedal the sustain pedal up to the end okay so the right pedal up to the end obviously ears uh, pay attention to this left hand over how is it the passage let's see one second so with the pedal down the right pedal down left over you carry on and then left hand again over for the last notes here and mind the octave sign these notes uh, already in treble clef they have to be played one octave higher according to the uh, position of the notes they should be these two this G and this B but since we have the oct octave sign we have to play them here okay in the second last octave now I'm going to play the whole one again uh, slower just to uh, let you mm, check even more the, the notes and what I do obviously I won't play at 108 because it's already uh, speed, the potential speed of your performance I will for example play around uh, 72 for example, let's see keeping maybe the metronome on and it's only due I mean um, I will keep the metronome on and I'm obviously I won't be respecting the ritardando the reason of this performance is just to uh, to let you check the moves, the actions so simply notes and a bit of dynamics that's it I think that there is nothing else that should be explained is a very enjoyable piece study um, paying attention to all the details slowly slowly uh, as usual as I like to say always apply the uh, same method study just one bar per time or two bars if you find it easy and then um, then you pass, you move to the following block of uh, two or to the following bar then you start sticking them together but don't study all at once you start from single hands, separate hands right hand, left hand then you master even better the single hands studying few bars or even you know, if you can one line depending on your um, sighting level and then you start studying hands together few bars per time and then obviously up to the end 
obviously um, help yourself using the metronome even more. The metronome is that uh, device that can that helps every single musician. So anyways, um, let me know if there is anything that uh, I didn't mention. Let me know how it's going, if you're studying it uh, well, if you are enjoying playing it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have never done until now. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye!